Ah! Crap! <laughs> Hey, bro. You almost got me. So I found something that I want to go tame. And you probably already know that because it's more than likely in the thumbnail. Unless something really bad happens, which could definitely happen. And it has happened in the past. Um, anyway, so real quick before we actually go out and get that bracky, um, we're actually going to be making up this bow blueprint. So real quick, actually, let me just show you our previous one. So I picked this one up just today, and uh, here's our previous one right here. It's got 358 on the weapon damage and then 268 on the durability. This one's bumped up by like 50 on each of those. So we're rocking uh, 410 on the damage and then 327 on the durability. So this thing's fantastic, and it's actually... I mean, it, it's a major bump in, in stats on it, but it's not actually that more much more expensive than the previous one, because, like, that one's, like, 4,000 polymer. This one's, like, 4,600 polymer, which seems like a lot, but when you have a lot of organic polymers, not really. All right, well, anyway, I want to make one of these before we head out, so let me chuck down my cat. I've got a bunch of potions inside the bird here. Hopefully people realize that, but, uh, yeah, let me pop on this crafting skill potion. Boom. Let me pick up my bird, and let me just hope that I get a good one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's just, let's just craft one for the moment. Please be good. Please be good. Okay, 11%. Really? That's it? Ah, oh, that's terrible. I thought that was going to be good. I mean, like, it's 36 extra uh, damage onto it. You know what? I'm going to craft one more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be greedy. <laughs> Come on, give me a good one, please. Give me a good one. Oh, 50. Okay, I'm glad that I did that. Wow. Okay, 50% on that. Dude, this thing's going to do like so much damage. I cannot wait to give it a go. These are my arrows as well. So here we go. Let's just let's head out and test out this thing and also get ourselves that bracky here today. Uh, let me actually also grind up this um, this previous bow as well. Let me just do that real quick just to, you know, get us some more resources back. Got to make sure I put the right one in there. Here we go. Boom. Okay. Not that much stuff back. I mean, the actual ingots is probably the only thing that we could really use because I think that we haven't had that farm on the, the tech creature farm. I don't think we've had that on for a little while. And we're not really um, usually smelting up actual metal that we're getting. So maybe we should be doing that as well. All right. Well, anyway, I'm just going to chuck this stuff into here and then you can go into here. And then we've got our kibble. We've got some narcotic. And this this creature's got a very very cool taming method. I'm also actually going to quickly just uh, paint up my bow. So yeah, this creature's got a very unique taming method. It's it's essentially, you, you got to shoot it at its cankles and get it to fall down eventually. Um, if you guys have seen it before, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you're in for definite treat because i think it's a really cool creature to be honest um i love the bracky they do so much damage as well and it's really fun to kill gigas with them because they could do that absolutely love that uh there we go and then that can be black as well cool nice little cyan and black bow it looks awesome all right let me chuck those into there and i've got to teleport to exactly where we need to be but i think i might actually want to bring an extra rifle i don't know if we have i don't necessarily know if i want to craft one maybe i could just borrow evo's one if he's got one to be honest, like I could, I could give it back to him. I'll even fix it for him. Does he have one? Doesn't seem like he does. Let's check out his bow compared to mine. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna definitely appreciate this new bow. This one's got a hundred extra weapon damage than his. All right. Let me go find somebody. We got Jim here. Let me just borrow your rifle, bro. <laughs> I'll give it back. I promise. Where is it? Does he even have it? Okay. There it is. Yeah, he does have it. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repair it to begin with, and then I will maybe paint it for him as well. In fact. All right, there we go. So we've got two rifles now, which is kind of what you want for this kind of creature. I mean, uh, I like to use the the actual sniper rifle. Lots of people use, uh, like, I've, I've seen people recommending that I use a shotgun, which just sounds really like a really bad idea. Uh, and then I used to use uh, an assault rifle to get these guys as well. But um, just generally, I find that the sniper rifle is a little bit more controlled. So definitely appreciate using that over everything else. Um, and I've tamed a lot of these creatures in the past, so, you know, it's, uh, it, it's kind of something that I've, I've come to over time, because oftentimes I screw up their tame, and I can't promise that I won't do that here today. You're out of the water! He was having, or she was having a little bath earlier. She was, like, right in the water, like, right there. So, um, cool. All right, let's, um, really quickly, do I have any potions on me? I do. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need a couple of those. In fact, I'm actually gonna put that there just in case. Okay, well, we've got blueberry. I should probably get out of the water first. Uh, I'll just grapple, to be honest, instead of grabbing a flyer. So, yeah, we're taming up this bracky, and I'm super excited for it. I also made, meant to make up a saddle, but it's okay. We can just teleport back real quick once it's down, and um, I can probably stay there until it's fully tamed or whatever. 
All right, so is this area safe? We do need to clear out any creatures that are going to be a nuisance to me. So let me get that there, and let me see. First of all, I would like to test out the weapon damage, but a flyer is not a good candidate. Definitely going for a ground creature, such as a Trudon, <laughs> is going to be a good idea. Boom. Oh! <laughs> oh, no way! That's some good damage. Give me my arrow back, you turd. Did he give it? Oh, no, he did give it back. Okay, cool. Nice. It just popped up there. And boom! Oh, that is so much damage. That is so amazing. I cannot wait till the next cave. I can't wait to actually use this in the freaking cave and just destroy Arthros and stuff. I mean, also, maybe I'll shoot Evo in the back of the head, considering he did that to me. <laughs> All right, come here. Give me, give me that arrow. That looks like a... It kind of almost looks like a regular arrow, to be honest, but I think it's just blood on it that makes it look kind of like brown or whatever. Um, what time is it? Is it getting dark? No, it's not. Oh, interesting. A little heat wave coming in. All right, well, you know what? I think that this area might be safe enough to actually give this a go. So, yeah, let's let's begin the whole taming process. First of all, um, it might be handy to have my my Smilodon just on, on standby here. I'm going to put you there. We're not going to need glow sticks for a little while. We are good, right? Besides these galleys here, I think that we're pretty much good. Um, all right, let's... Uh, is my... Okay, it almost looks like this ground here is, like, bare of, like, all vegetation and stuff. We have, like, tiny little bushes. Maybe it's... This has got to be, like, a mistake or something. Why are they all tiny? Right? I don't know. It looks weird. All right. Well, uh, yeah, let's let's try to, to start this whole process. Come here. All right. So the way to do this is to pretty much just uh, piss them off. And at this point, I don't know the best way to do that without really, really harming it. So um, I think I'll just have to run up and punch it. Boom. Did I hit him? I didn't even hit him. Oh, ah! <laughs> okay, that hurt. <laughs> that was not appreciated. So, what we gotta do is we gotta wait for it to stand up on its hind legs, and um, then we just shoot at its cankles, and eventually that's gonna deal enough torpor where it's gonna fall down. Crap, that trued on. I didn't see that one as well. Okay, I should probably kill that thing. Uh, hello, little guy. Okay, we got him in like one shot. Sweet. Alright, come on. Are you still pissed at me? I don't think you are. Hmm, okay. I don't want to shoot it with things that are going to deal lots of damage because obviously we don't want to screw this up in any way. Uh, come here. Okay, let me just hit that foot then. Did I even do it? I didn't actually even do it, did I? Wow, okay. I should have brought like a normal like primitive bow with me or something. I didn't hit him that time either? Dude. Ugh. I don't like this. Eh. Come on. There we go. Ah! <laughs> okay, well that hurt. Just a little bit. Um, okay. Are we going to be good? Come on, stand up. Do the standy uppy thingy. Come on. Um, kind of terrifying, but you know what? Like, it might do it eventually. I don't actually know how to make them do it. I think it's kind of almost like random, to be honest. All right, come on. Do it. Do do the thing. Come on. <laughs> oh, you're no longer aggroed, are you? Okay, you know what? I'm going to make a primitive bow real quick, and then we're going to... You know what? Maybe I'll make a slingshot instead. Nope, because those cost hide and I don't actually have any although we do have dead creatures one sec yeah slingshot would probably deal slightly less damage we got a true on my butt I just saw him okay are we good are you gonna come for me oh no 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 I'm okay <sighs> why are they everywhere okay I actually could have chopped up one of those guys but it's fine all right let me chop up this uh this uh giraffe thingy come here I'm probably gonna be okay, provided that there's not another trude on here. I think I shouldn't get knocked out, but we'll see. Um, okay. Do I need? I think I need fiber as well. Yeah, I do. Totally. All right. Let me grab up some of the stuff. We just need a way to be able to aggro him without like dealing tons of damage to him. You know. Uh, there we go. Okay. And then I gotta use my hatchet on the rock as well. I really wish I had more slots in my freaking toolbar because I just have so many things on my my thing right now it's insane all right uh let's pop this uh here i guess and let me begin all right come on let's do it yes that's perfect one damage is amazing all right come on do the thing he doesn't want to for some reason come on do the do your standy up do i have to get like super close to him I mean, I know I said I've done tons of these in the past, but I think this is the part that I've never understood. Oh, here we go. Uh, didn't mean to hit that button. All right. So whenever we... Yeah, okay. Whenever we see the, like, nerf down damages, that means that I'm doing it right. Um, but unfortunately, he stood up on his hind legs and then immediately went back down, so that doesn't really help. All right, let me just keep him aggroed. 
maybe. Oh, here we go. Woo. All right. Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay. So we just got to keep shooting him at this point, you know? Uh, he's going to walk a little bit. And this is why I kind of like to have two snipers on me, just to uh, be able to swap between them if I need to. So whenever I hit him, that's going to deal torpor. Um, but unfortunately, I can't really check super easily how much uh, we're doing. So at some point, I will probably have to run up and actually manually check him, but I can hop onto the back of my smile dawn for that. Okay, I'm getting really bad shots right here. Okay, so just provided he keeps doing this, we're good. We are golden. All right, let's see. Come on. Also, the knocking out animation is, uh, it's not super obvious on these guys as well, so definitely, um, gotta keep a proper close eye on him. All right, there we go. We're doing slightly more with my rifle, actually, which is probably the better one to use. Um, just keep doing it. Want to go kind of slow with it, because I don't... Okay, he's doing his thing. Cool. All right, I think at this point, I should probably check his torpor, because they actually drain down super fast as well. All right, let's see. Uh, magnifying glass. Let's see how much you've got, bro. Come on. Uh, oh, he's almost out. Wow, okay, we got him so close. Sweet. All right, so yeah, this is why people like to use shotguns, because, I mean, one blast kind of does it super quick, but I also, I don't like the spread on the shotgun compared to, you know, just using a sniper rifle. Okay, now we got to be very cautious here. We got to space him out enough when we're getting kind of close. I think he's out. Did you see that? It's almost like when the animation starts, you you almost can't tell, right? That's terrifying. Did not mean to hit that button. Um, holy crap. Okay, I could have messed that up so bad, but we didn't. We actually got it. Nice. First try. Wait, let me just make sure that I got it before I brag, okay? We got it. First try. Nice. <laughs> oh, dude, I love these things, but like they're so frustrating when you do mess them up. All right, let's dump that into there. They drain Torpor very quick. Um, they cost a lot of kibble as well, I remember. So I'm going to wait for him to drain down just a little bit, and then I'll probably teleport away from here just so he's not going to be harmed by anything. In fact, I think the area is pretty clear at this point, but, at, you know, at the same time, I do not want to risk anything with such a crazy tame. So, um, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll wait here. Uh, that was awesome, though. I actually managed to do that flawlessly. That's, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it took a little while to begin the whole process, but once he stood up and then he stood up again, and then the final time, yeah, not too bad. Honestly, I've had worse times trying to tame them in the past, so definitely appreciate that. All right, well, anyway, yeah, this is going to be a long-ass taming method, so I'm going to wait for him to probably drop down to, like, half Torpor, and then I'll start piling in a ton of, um, of narcotic. In fact, maybe Narco Berries would be better, because they've got a slower release, and that's actually kind of what you want. Got my parasaur here. Let's pop you out. Kool-Aid. We haven't actually seen you in a hot bit. Uh, you know what? We should probably, at some point, maybe try to mutate you and make, like, a red one. Make, like, a proper Kool-Aid guy. Oh, man. All right, let me grab some of these then. Uh, probably need a couple more than that. But, yeah, I was just out and about looking for Brackies to chainsaw, basically, for hide, because that's the best way to get it for us right now. Um, but yeah, so I was just trying to help the tribe and then I managed to be rewarded by the Arc Gods with a 180 Bracky. Oh, actually, speaking of, um, Arc Gods and being rewarded slash, you know, maybe punished. In the last episode, we tamed up a ton of, uh, well, I think, what was it? Like three Raxes, right? Um, we tamed up like three Raxes and, uh, that was great and all. After that, I managed to actually tame up another three high levels as well. Uh, we got a pretty good weight stat. Nothing really to write home about, though, so I, I didn't really record any of that. And to be honest, when it when it comes to, like, multiple tamings of the same creature, I don't think people really want to watch me tame, like, 16 Rexes, you know. every Do you need to see every bit of footage? That that kind of thing is, is my whole, my theory. But, um, yeah, so essentially I'm just going to keep doing that in the background for a long time here until we're ready to actually breed them. And, um, yeah, so... Just taming up some Rexes, taming up some other things, looking for hide. Just kind of being the last day in Ark for me. It's crazy how it still hasn't even drained down to eat once. Oh, man. Yeah, it's going to be a slow-ass taming method. I think it probably will need, like, 20 pieces of kibble and everything. So it's going to take a long time before this thing's going to be up. Yeah, let me just wait here until it's drained down more Torpor, and by then it will have eaten. It's about to eat in just a minute here. And then we'll kind of have, like, a rough gauge of how long this is going to take. Definitely got to thank Jim for letting me borrow his rifle. Um... He won't even know. You know what? Maybe I should get it down to the exact uh, amount. Oh, hello. I shouldn't. <laughs> no, I won't. I don't want to. I don't want to attract the galleys. Look at them. They're, they're, they might end up hitting my bracky somehow. But yeah, maybe I should like damage his rifle all the way down to where it was before, and then he wouldn't even know. 
you wouldn't know a single thing. Oh, 4%, really? Oh, man. Yeah, that's going to take a long-ass time. I'm not excited for this. Um, so, yeah, that means you're going to need, uh, what is that, 25 kibble in total? So, should be leaving 24 in here. Uh, nope, not that one. Here we go. Boom. Nice. Okay. Um, I think at this point, I'm going to probably feed all 1,000 narco berries. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in probably like an eternity or, or maybe two. Um, <laughs> this is going to take a long ass time. So, yeah, not, uh, not super thrilled for this, but it is what it is. And I really want this tame anyway. So, yeah. More than likely going to spend the majority of this time either back at base or maybe drop hunting anyway. One thing I'm kind of hoping for is some good stats. Although, regardless, Brackies already do some pretty good damage and they have some uh, pretty amazing health. And obviously, you can see the weight there is like 5,000 out of like a wild tame. So, yeah, it's going to be even better once I actually have it tamed. Oh, man. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to go back to base. I do not want to be here, like I said before. So, yeah, let me teleport from, like, over here. So I'm not teleporting right back in, right beside it. That would not be a smart idea. Um, all right, homestead. Let's go. Okay, let's also actually build a Bracky saddle. Um, we can actually get, like, better versions of these. But the only way to do that is to essentially kill the... Archidition's boss, which currently it's only going to be the uh, Savage Acro. And you know what? We're, we're definitely not prepared to do that anytime soon. So, yeah, that's not going to be a thing. But we do have the Primitive Saddle. And regardless, like, these things are really good anyway. So, yeah, we're going to be here for a long while. I can't remember exactly how long it's going to take. Although, we, we took you out right before that thing knocked down. So, before we go back over, I guess I can check this and the little timer, the stored four timer that you probably can't see. Currently, it's at like six minutes. But uh, yeah, I can check that timer and we'll see exactly how long this took. Probably going to be like an hour, maybe like a little bit extra. I'm not even sure. And don't you worry, I gave Jim his rifle back. I'm also going to give him some prime meat and some flint and a piece of spoilt meat and some raw meat and some stone and some thatch and some berries and some wood. Giving Jim my wood. There we go. Some more berries as well. You know what? He deserves all of that. All right. Well, this thing just tamed up right now. And, um, okay. I guess we got to go over there and check it out. How long has it been? Uh, yeah, that seems about right. It's been around basically like an hour and a half since that last clip. So, yeah. Let me go over there. Teleport all the way over. What time is it as well? Okay. Yeah, it's coming into the morning. That's awesome. Perfect timing, honestly, to, to get back over here. Um, I did have to drop over once just to give it some more narco berries. Um, the reason why I would use narco berries on such a, a big tame like this instead of narcotic, because I get this question sometimes, is because if you feed narcotic, it fills up the bar a lot quicker. And, you know, when the bar is filling up, it's not lowering down. And so if you feed narco berries, which feed like they, they fill it up slower, you kind of get more time out of it, essentially. So that's kind of like the, the logic behind using narco berries on like something like this or maybe a Giga as well, or maybe even a Therizino. So yeah, definitely really handy. Um, stats wise, it, it sucks. It's not that good. It, it's got pretty low-ish on the health, uh, kind of okay-ish on the melee. Um, Stamina is pretty good, I guess, ish. Yeah, not not super good, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Regardless, it's a max level Bracky, and this thing's gonna do some crazy damage anyway. So let's test you out. Let me pop your saddle on. Awesome. It's got like 30k health to begin with as well, which is great. And look at that freaking weight as well. Absolutely insane. All right, let me see. How do you? There's like a resource thing that you can do. How do you do that? You hit R. Okay, so you can specifically go for harvesting certain resources. So you can see all the different ones there. Uh, it goes back to wood. So let's actually try that then. So let me go ahead and just do a left click stomp. Boom. I'm not close enough apparently. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, not very good actually, unfortunately. What? <laughs> it's terrible. All right, let me see. They're pretty good at like gathering stone and stuff like that as well. Uh, here we go. We got some rocks here. Okay, yeah, there we go. Much better. What on earth is wrong with the, with the wood harvesting? We got thatch, right? Let me try the thatch one. Was that tree? Did I... Maybe, did I already hit that tree or something? I might have. Maybe? I don't even know. Let me just go back to wood. I gotta try this a couple times. Like, does it just suck? Okay, yeah, no. There we go. Yeah. What did we get, like, the first time? Like, 37 or something? It was terrible. I don't even know what it was. Whatever it was, it doesn't matter. I think maybe I'd hit that tree earlier, and then it just didn't, um, you know, it didn't fix itself or whatever. That's cool. All right, let's see. Just destroy all of these rocks. And, um, yeah, I mean, like... Who knew that such a large, crazy creature like a Bracky 
could be useful for gathering things that aren't just berries and a little bit of thatch and wood. You know, I, I think that this is kind of what the uh, the Bracky and maybe Arc 2, or if they put a Bracky into ASA, that would be great. That would be great if, if they actually did that, to be honest. I'd love that, because we've got a skin for the Bracky, and it's not an actual creature, unfortunately, in vanilla. This is like a modded version, obviously. But my whole point is, is like, you know, if, if they're going to add a crazy big sauropod like this, surely they should make it so we can harvest things with them, right? Like things that aren't just wood and thatch. Can we not break this rock? Okay, I guess not. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, that's uh, the whole harvesting thing with these guys. They've got so much to them. One of my favorite features is just the fact that they do not swim. They, they walk through water, which is the best thing ever, especially when you can get into super deep water, where if you're hitting C and you stand up on your hind legs, your head is popping out, but nothing else is. I don't know why. It's just super goofy, and I love that. But uh, yeah, let me see. Do we have any victims that I can, uh, well, potential victims at least, that I can go ahead and use my stump on? We've got something here. What is that? Is that, what is that, a moss chops? Oh, it's a horse. Okay, cool. Let's try it then. And, oh, he's going to run out of my, oh. Yeah. Oh, I hit something. Oh, I hit a fish for 10,000 almost damage. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I think, what is it again? There's something to do with these guys. Um, I think it's like the diff. Oh, what? Oh, I'm getting hit by a Velodosaur. Get out of here, dude. Hang on. Let me, let me get in here. We can't do our super stomp for a little while. So I'll just have to do this. I'm pretty sure that these guys have something to do with drag weight versus like the stomp or something right i'm fairly certain that's like a thing hang on let me let me hit something else and then we'll be able to tell because yeah i'm fairly certain that that's a thing and obviously the drag weight of this guy versus a, a a little fish is gonna be a giant difference and i'm pretty sure there's like some sort of multiplier in there so let me go ahead and maybe hit a velanosaur we've got tons of them around here in fact why did that specific one go for me and then the rest of them just don't even care all right let me get in here and let me stomp your face out of existence. No, apparently not. Was it not something to do with drag weight? I could have sworn it was. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I just do that much damage. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, nice. All right. I have no idea what I was thinking of then. What was I thinking of? Oh, now they're attacking me. Oh, ow. Oh, look at that. Look at my freaking leg. <laughs> you prick. Literally. Um, okay, cool. What else do we got? We've got right click. What is that? Uh, oh yeah, that's like a the little like back kick that he did on me earlier. It's almost like a bracky bitch slap, pretty much to be honest. <laughs> what else have we got? We've got uh, X, which is nothing. Control. I know what this is. This is the fear roar. Watch this. Ooh, that's so scary. So yeah, that fear roar works on gigas as well, which leads me to the next thing. We've got a big mountainous area up there. And I know for a fact that Gigas spawn up there. So, kind of tempted. Kind of tempted. Also, wow. Okay, we already have a ton of levels. Um, oh, is this? Oh, yeah, this is level up animation. He just stands up. <laughs> uh, I, I, I do want to bring the health up a little bit. But I feel like we should just focus on melee with this thing. I mean, like, yeah, let's just pump the rest into melee. Okay, here's the deal. Here's what we gotta do. First of all, I need to get to an area that I can start leveling this thing up in a bunch. So real quick, let's check you out. I need to maybe look for some alphas. And if we can kill a couple alphas, we'll get more levels. Then I'll be able to potentially take on a giga. Now, the whole plan with the giga is start it off by doing that crazy stomp and maybe try to kick it a couple more times and then maybe do a fear roar on it when I need it to go away from me. Um, that's kind of the plan, so. Yeah, unless I can get the fear roar in and then have it trapped somewhere and then manage to do the big stomp on it as well. That could be a thing as, as well. I, I'm, I don't know. We'll have to kind of see what this area is is like up here. Um, tons of wolves for sure. Oh, hello. What are you? Alpha Carno? Ooh, 102. I guess I'll kill you. Wait, what level is that Rex as well? Uh, okay, never mind. Terrible. All right, we got some Donalicus eggs over here as well, actually. Let me quickly grab that, even though it's definitely going to be spoiled. Um... Let's pick you up, and yeah, definitely spoiled. Cool. Uh, we need to get that mod on here, the one that, like, wipes the uh, the spoiled eggs. Apparently, that's a thing. I learned about it recently. I should probably add it, though, to be honest. All right, let's uh, let's stomp this Carno out of existence as well. <laughs> There's another Denonicus nest right there. Cool. All right, let me, uh, let me get over here. Hello, boys. Oh, the wolves are freaking killing. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I, I need to use this on the wolves because they're probably going to ruin me. Unless I do that. Oh, there we go. Nice. 
Okay, well, now I gotta wait uh, 40 seconds before I can do that again. Ah, man, all right, let me get in here. Let me fight this Carno. Come here, bro. Let's do it. You and me. I gotta wait a little bit before I can do my crazy big stomp, but yeah, we're, we're doing it. Here we go. What was I thinking of with the whole drag weight thing? That's something. I could have sworn that's something. Is it the acro? I think it's the acro, right? I'm fairly certain it's the acro now. I thought the Bracky had it too, but I guess not. I don't know. You guys let me know. Sometimes I forget certain things about certain modded creatures and also unmodded creatures too. I forget a lot of things occasionally. All right, let me go ahead and do this. Here we go. This actually might even kill him, to be honest, because we've been doing some decent damage to him so far. And boom. Okay, he's not dead. Wow, really? You're gonna you're gonna tank that? Okay, cool. You're gonna be able to tank another one, maybe? Uh, let me zoom in. Oh, that's not how I zoom in. Guess I can't zoom in in this mode. We're not in K mode. Let's see. Uh, yeah, he's pretty bloody. This is as far as I can zoom in, unfortunately. All right, will I be able to kill him with the stomp? He might be dead before then. Never mind. All right, cool. Well, it's fine. Let's, uh, let's just keep doing this then. <laughs> this is awesome. I love these things so much. Oh, man. Yeah, honestly, like, Arc 2, I don't know how the creatures are going to work in that game. Honestly, every single time they talk about the game, it makes it sound like it's going to be further and further away from what we're playing here. But, um, yeah. <laughs> if, if the Bracky's anything like this, that would be dope. Here we go. Boom! Yes! Okay, we killed it. Nice. Uh, did we get any? I feel like we would have picked it up, right? Oh, wow, we did. We didn't actually grab the stuff out of your inventory. That's interesting. Why did that not happen? You've got plenty of weight, so it can't be that. All right, well, we do have 17 levels. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, all into melee. How much do I do now, I wonder? <laughs> just harvest that guy up. Wait, can you? You can harvest up with these guys, right? I could have sworn you can. Uh, maybe not. I don't even know. All right, let me, um... Let me try my big uh, stompy stomp attack on this uh, chalet over here. Come here, bro. I'm coming for you very slowly. I mean, it looks like I'm moving slow, but realistically, this is such a behemoth of a creature that, like, <laughs> I feel like we're not even moving slow whatsoever. All right, here we go. Let's wait for this Equus maybe to be in range as well. No, maybe not. Boom. Okay. A little bit extra damage on that. Maybe going for health would have been a better thing, to be honest. Hmm, it's fine. All right, I think I do need to uh, heal this guy up a little bit. So let me pull out Night Owl. We'll do that. And, um, oh, that's not Night Owl. Just pull out Night Owl, get some healing going. Night Owl is a triangle, apparently. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I think that these guys are difficult to get healing. It is possible. I've definitely done it before. So maybe if I get you beside a cliff, that could work. Just if I'm going to be messing with a Giga, I want to be at full health. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> So obviously, you you know, when you're mounted onto these guys, you're on their head, um, which is the crazy saddle ever. But uh, just the fact that, like, it, it places you on the ground right there, obviously, it just shoved me off the cliff because of that. that that's just great. I, I love that. <laughs> it's so silly. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, I got him. I'll be able to heal him up super quick now. All right, Night Owl, you're good. Let me uh, probably not do... Oh, oh, I almost flew off the cliff again. <laughs> Let's go look for a Giga. Um, yeah, let's do that real quick. Let me pull out Shimmer Griffin. Still need to grab your freaking name, dude. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Also, it was the weekend, so a little bit of time off. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see. Do we have any Gigas? We had tons of them here before. There was like two high levels, I think, up here at one stage. Um, or maybe they weren't high levels. I actually don't even know. Honestly, now I now that I'm thinking about it, I think that they were like kind of lowish levels, and I'm pretty sure that Jim tamed one of them. And then obviously he's lost it since, but you know, it is what it is. Hello. Like a low level is more preferable than a high level. I don't necessarily know if I could kill a high level, although just in general, I guess Gigas kind of have like roughly the same amount of health in the wild anyway, so yeah, it's always like a huge crazy amount. Honestly, I probably can't even do this, but if I can at least just stomp on him just a little bit, that would make me happy. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, actually know where they are at all. Oh, what the hell was that? That was weird. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got two Gigas right here, and they are beautiful. Wow. Oh, look at you. You are so freaking beautiful. So there um, are Gigas, of course. Hmm. I want the 24 to, to battle me. Um, <laughs> 
I think probably just shooting it and getting it to chase me would, would be the best bet. Come on, bro. Come on. Let's go. Uh, I guess I'll kill this Denonicus as well while we're waiting. In fact, I should probably get my, um, my Brachia onto my bar, although we won't have enough time. Ah! <laughs> Crap! <laughs> hey, bro. You almost got me. Oh, all right. Let's see. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is probably... You know, okay, I'm gonna let it fight the elephants, and then we'll we'll go for it. Yeah, that will work. Here we go. Freaking Dinotheriums. We're gonna mess up that Giga. Those things do a lot of damage just in general when they're in a pack, so... Yeah. Um, maybe I... Oh, you know what? Maybe I should pile in on this. Get in on this little battle. Try and fight it a little bit while it's distracted. Although, as soon as I do this, I'm gonna kill all of them, maybe, possibly. Ooh, he's coming for me. Oh, he does 500 damage per hit. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, I can do my roar when it gets too spicy. And if it gets extra spicy, we can um, we can just pop this guy away, possibly. Uh, maybe not. Okay, let's do the right kick. Oh, oh. Let's uh, try and... Oh, crap. Now he's on me again. I didn't realize he was still fighting the freaking Dinotherium there. I could have maybe moved away just a little bit. Okay, we could probably get one more of these, uh, these stomps in before I'm gonna die, so, yeah. Let's, uh, let's try and do that. Can I last 10 more seconds? I think so. Oh, this is really hurting. Okay, we got, like, five seconds here. Come on. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Come on. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Come on. Here we go. And boom. Okay, now, uh, control. Okay, he's scared. He's scared for me. Okay. Oh, dude. I'm on 4,000 health. I'm gonna put you away now. Uh, you've you've done you've done great. Thank you. Oh, there was probably no way of me doing that. Let's be honest. Um, that was terrifying. That was so terrifying. Wow. Maybe stupid as well, slightly. But you know, we we've got a creature that can take on a Giga. Just you know, maybe not in its in its form that it was in right there. You know, um, I feel like we weren't really gaining too much, um, too much damage per level as well. So I feel like if I'm gonna continue to, uh, to do Bracky stuff, uh, maybe it would be best to just maybe level into health. <laughs> I mean, we got a little bit extra damage, but not a huge amount of extra damage. So yeah. Although maybe I should just double check it. I don't know how much we were actually doing in the end there. I mean, the kick is pretty hurt. We, d we definitely did a number on it. I might, I might actually just kill it, though. <laughs> I want to at least kill a Giga now today. That's the plan. Uh, where are you? There you are. Let me try out my new bow, except not get hit. Wow, that really hurt. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I feel like it's uh, healed up a bunch from just eating a bunch of wild creatures. Definitely healed. No more blood on the body. Okay, cool. Guess I'm not doing that then. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, yeah, we have the Bracky anyway. I guess leave some name suggestions if you've got some down below for it. Um, <laughs> wow, dude. That was absolutely insane. I'm so I'm so gutted that I didn't actually get a kill it, though, in the end. And that's upsetting. All right, what do we have? Do I have something over here to test out this uh, stomp on? I want to just make sure that, like, I want to just double check how much damage I'm doing right now. Because we did pump in a bunch of levels, and I'm not sure if I tested it properly after that. Here we go. Let me destroy this dire bear. Yeah, I think we went up from like 9,000 something to like 10,000. So I think like an extra 1,500 damage is what we've got from all those levels. I feel like maybe pumping it to health might be better just because it does so much damage anyway. And there's a lot of time between each of those stomps as well. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Honestly, maybe I should look back at because I made a Bracky like last year or maybe like almost two years ago now at this point i made a bracky in the cluster and it's really good i remember but i can't remember what i pumped into it so i should probably just check back onto that video all right well anyway i think for the moment i'm gonna actually i have a specific spot that i want to put this bracky in because i've been kind of jealous i'm not gonna lie some of the guys here just have crazy like roof ornaments here and i really wanted one as well so i have a bracky now i'm gonna put my bracky up here maybe the same as axe's ornament but you know what um that's all good <laughs> <laughs> Evo is going to be the only one without a giant crazy creature on his base, and he's going to feel so silly. Here we go. Let me uh, let me just chuck you up like this so you land directly down onto my base. Oh, my God. That was terrifying. Okay, we're good. Okay, there we go. And can I manage to... I think if I go into the sea like this, 
And then if I... I think if I take off your saddle, you'll stay in this position, right? No, it went back down. I know there's a way to lock it into that position, and I will figure that out. There's invisible roofs here. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, it's the glass ceiling. That's what I grappled to. I was trying to grapple to you. All right, well, anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Like I said, let me know some cool names for this guy, and uh, I promise I definitely will name him pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Catch you in the next one.